Welcome to October. We are going to look at what seems spooky to you this month. How can you face those fears? Where are you being lazy? Um, where shit's getting confusing and route to your goal? Um, where do you need to be more honest with yourself? And then the good things that are coming your way in the month of October that we just can't see yet. I'm going to be using some really fun decks, so I'm excited to get started for you. Capricorn, what seems spooky for you this month? You know, this is very similar to the Taurus energy. Um, what's scaring you is that you might just get what you want financially. Um, for you, it's a little bit less financially based. This is about getting the things that we've asked for, the things that we hope for, the things that we wish for. Um, for some of you, that might be money or a new career. For some of you, that might be a new relationship. Um, how can we go ahead and face that fear? They go laughing at the fear that you have. And if you notice, the color here is um, correlated to the sacral chakra, which is the chakra that houses our fears. So just kind of go, <laughs> that's silly. Our fears only have power if we decide to believe them, right? And so they're saying, you know, let's laugh at ourselves. Let's laugh at these ideas of what could go wrong or ideas that we can somehow protect ourselves from disappointment or hurt. Um, because when we try to do that and we build up those walls, we don't progress towards what we want and we end up disappointed anyway. Either way, you're going to feel it. You're not really protecting yourself from anything. Um, where are you being lazy this month? And it seems like they have a lot to say. They're throwing a couple things around here. So um, number one, in acknowledging the fact that you and somebody else or something else, it could be like a corporation, you and your workplace, or you and a colleague, you and a partner, um, ignoring the fact that you don't want the same things. There is not the same intention. There is not the same agenda. Um, this is something that we do need to deal with. We might be instead just avoiding argument, um, avoiding chaos and you know, disharmony, discord, but maybe it's time to acknowledge that and potentially make a change. They say this is a good month to really boost up that confidence and assert yourself. This is a time in which you can really figure out what is it you're passionate about and move towards that. And we have that as a general theme for probably all earth signs. I've only done Taurus and Capricorn so far, but you both have this general theme of this is the time that we get what we want. And perhaps it's time to really believe in ourselves and move towards our passions. Okay. So, um, where's stuff getting kind of confusing in regards to your own goals? And they're saying, um, some of you are like, I don't have a choice. I don't really have a choice. Now, those of you who are really embracing this energy of like, yes, it's time to go and, and you know, move towards my passions. I'm going to leave this person. I'm going to leave this job and I'm just going to do me. Awesome. Um, you're feeling like you don't have a choice, but there's a certain amount of you that are not fully embracing that, that you really need to boost up that confidence. And you're like, oh man, like I really want to do this, but I don't have a choice. I have to stay in this job or I have to stay in this relationship. And they're saying that's not exactly true. Um, there, the options might not seem that great. Okay. But there's always an out. There's always an option. So, um, where is it that you need to be more honest with yourself this month? Um, that other people are clueless. Um, other people just don't get it. And, you know, sometimes that's hard to admit, especially when we have this energy of admitting to ourselves that maybe other people don't have the same intentions that we do. And so um, we kind of just have to throw our hands up and say, you know what? Fuck it. It doesn't matter if they understand what's important to me or what I want to do. This is about me. The only person um, really, truly responsible for what happens to me in adulthood is me, right? B based on my own choices. Now, sure, there's some things that happen to us that we cannot prevent, but we get to um, change. We get to decide our reaction to many of these things, right? So, Essentially, that's what they're saying. Um, what are the good things that are coming your way that you just can't see yet? 
And they say, you know, other people are really going to applaud you and look up to you if you're able to fully embrace that confidence energy and just follow what it is that you want to do. Um, they're going to put you on a pedestal. They're going to be like, bravo, Capricorn. You are a leader. You're a true inspiration. And um, it's going to feel good. And, you know, you really do have a lot more control over your situation in the month of October than maybe you have previously. And so this is a good time to take advantage of kind of pursuing what it is that you dream about, what it is that you want. Love you.